let's help Mr. Crocodile so that he can figure out which fraction's smaller and which is bigger. Let's compare four sevenths and five ninths and see if we can help Mr. Crocodile figure out which fraction is bigger. You might reason that five is bigger than four, so five ninths must be bigger than four sevenths. But this reasoning is wrong. Comparing these fractions on the fraction wall, you can see that five ninths is actually smaller than four sevenths. The problem is we can only compare fractions directly by comparing their numerators when their denominators are the same. For example, five ninths is bigger than four ninths. If we don't have access to a fraction wall, then we have to find a different way of comparing four sevenths and five ninths. This can be done by converting each fraction to an equivalent fraction, each of which has a common denominator. I'll show you one way to do this. First, I'll work out what the common denominator is going to be by multiplying the denominators of the fractions we're comparing. Seven times nine is sixty-three. Now, let's convert four sevenths to an equivalent fraction that has sixty thirds as the denominator. What do you have to multiply seven by to get sixty three? Nine. To make an equivalent fraction, whatever you multiply the bottom half of a fraction by, you also have to multiply the top half of the fraction by. Four times nine is thirty six. So four sevenths. And thirty-six sixty-thirds are equivalent fractions. Here are two ways of justifying what we've done. From our fraction wall, we know that nine ninths is the same as one whole, or simply one. So multiplying four sevenths by nine ninths is really just multiplying four sevenths by one. But we know that if you multiply any number by one, you get the same number. For example. Six times one equals six. We get a number with exactly the same value. By the same reasoning, four sevenths has the same value as thirty-six sixty-thirds. Another way to see this is using a diagram. Let's divide a rectangle up into sevenths and colour four sevenths of the rectangle yellow. Now let's see what thirty-six sixty-thirds looks like. The relative amount of yellow hasn't changed, so four sevenths has the same value as, or is equivalent to, thirty-six sixty-thirds. Let's convert five ninths to an equivalent fraction with sixty-thirds as a denominator by the same method. What do you have to multiply nine by to get sixty-three? Seven. To get an equivalent fraction, whatever you multiply the bottom half of the fraction by. You also have to multiply the top half of the fraction by. Five times seven is thirty-five. So five ninths and thirty-five sixty-thirds are equivalent fractions. Now we can compare the numerators because the denominators are the same. Thirty-six is bigger than thirty-five, or thirty-six sixty-thirds is bigger than thirty-five sixty-thirds, which means four sevenths. Is bigger than five ninths.